What up, though, Capricorn? What's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It has been a little while since I've been on family. Today, the energy is you need to practice discipline. You need to have boundaries today, Capricorn. And there may even be a situation where asking for proof and or evidence is going to be very necessary. Capricorn, drop your birthday, sun, moon, rising down below. A welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Like and subscribe for my daily Capricorn readings. Find me on Instagram. Let me know where you are watching from. Always shout out to everybody in Michigan. And be sure to drop this person's potentially problematic sign down below. <clears throat> and what we see on my desk here, we have Leo that came out first, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer Pisces. And to me, this energy is there's someone or something very big and bold out, um, overt happening and there's somebody that is either wanting, offering to give you something or wanting you to give them something and using, it's the emotional manipulation for me. Whether it's sweetness, this light, whether it's sweetness, okay, or whether it's somebody being very loud, using a lot of manipulation, you need to be you, I really feel like you either need to be very quiet about something, Capricorn, like not get involved at all. Or if you're going to be involved, or even if you're, if you happen to be the topic of conversation, you may want to ask for proof. Make that person prove what it is that they're saying to you, what it is that they're saying about you, or what it is that they're asking you to do even. And this energy of needing to be very careful of somebody who may, you know, use a little manipulation to get their way, whether that's good looks, whether that's saying the right things. And again, that doing somebody a favor kind of out of nowhere. And for some of you Capricorns, to me, it almost gives me the energy of somebody being in a competition with someone due to their looks and vanity. And it's kind of the, if I can't beat them, join them type of thing. This light's going to take me out. I don't know why it does this. Um, <clears throat> and then there's also just this energy of somebody being, you know, a flip-flopper, like moving wherever things are going to go smoothest for them. Like you seem to be doing very well right now. So here they're moving, right? Or they done burned somebody else out. Um, in the office, in the social circle, in the friend group, right? Their other lover even, right? And here you are needing to, you know, let somebody know that you you got boundaries. You're not to be played. Or you and even this energy of like you can't come 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 here. This flip flopping, quickly changing directions, it's giving emotional instability. Mm-hmm. It's given crazy, unstable, and it really speaks to very quickly somebody making this change. Like, I'm, and this came up last week, Capricorn, you need to be very, very, very careful about this person who is about to try their very hardest to play both sides of the fence. I feel like this person is not just testing your boundaries as far as what you will or won't tell them, what you will and you know won't won't have a conversation about them with. And <clears throat> and I feel like this testing your boundaries, 
or flip-flopping, I feel like very blatantly in front of your face, has to do with this position that you're in. As things are going very well for you, you see this person running towards you, wanting to be close to you, asking you questions, wanting to have these conversations. But it really has a lot to do with themselves. You know, we see this Gemini energy and these repeating sixes. Please drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing family down below. And some of you may be dealing with somebody who was born in the month of um, June, has a birthday on the 6th, could be, has a birthday on, you know, June 6th, could be a very tall person when I think of 6-6 six, six also. Um, <clears throat> you need to be very careful with this person that seems like they're trying to get to know you, to build something with you, you know, trying to like foster a relationship between you and them. And really it is very situational. This has everything to do with their happiness and what they have going on and absolutely nothing to do with actually helping you, doing anything for you. And we see those hidden motives, right? We see that you you can, you can see that this person hasn't changed. And to me, again, it speaks to this person being very blatant. Like, to me, it seems very obvious. You'll know exactly what this person is doing. Very blatant, very overt. They're unchanging, which to me speaks to somebody being very immature, as not only do we see this baby in a crib with this ancestors, the Scorpio energy, but even with this Pisces here, with this high priestess, notice how we're looking at a young girl. Interesting. Who's this person that's always crying and throwing temper tantrums? And by crying, I totally mean acting a fool, but maybe it is using tears in an effort to get their way, pretending to be more hurt than what they are. And and it's the using the their be their hurt when really they're angry or they're not getting their way. Because it's it's the flip-flopping. Everything's good when it's good, or when they can have a piece of the pie, they can be close enough to something that's going well. This really has something, a lot, something, a lot to do with somebody being very self-serving, especially for those of you in the workplace. Especially those of you that have a history of this person um, being on again, off again as a friend, as a lover, even as we see this um, daughter of sticks or the knight of wands. And not only the repeating sixes here, but the eights as well. The strength card, that Leo energy, and then this eight of earth. Your stability... And again, speaking to those Capricorns that have had a lot of opportunities coming the way, their way, they see, again, we see the big moon here. They see your light. They see things are turning or happening, maybe even before you do. And you see this person all in your face, you know, wanting, you know, to reunite, to join together and heavy on this working together, spending a lot of time. You need to be again, very wary of this individual. And I, I don't know why I feel like this person could potentially be like a cat lady. Or something with their eyes also. Like I feel like somebody could be very catty, like very surface level. But I also feel like there's something deeper. Like you have to, like this person is also waiting to pounce on any opportunity that is to benefit them. Or if you're not for them, you know, if you can read between the lines there, if you're not for them, look for a weakness to take you out. And again, the needing to have boundaries is necessary. There's a lot, there's a lot of mystery surrounding you. you I feel like this person doesn't know a lot about you. I feel like mom is the word, you being very private, keeping to yourself. There's this opportunity coming and we can continue to talk about that Capricorn. Unexpected opportunities. This person sees it before you do. They're understanding what it is that you're carrying, what it is that you're bringing to the table in whatever environment this is. I do really feel like it's a silent competition or that if they can't beat you, join you type of mentality, but they're trying to figure you out. They're trying to see, you know, which way that you swing. 
are you this way? Are you that way? How can I, you know, make this person happy? How can I get into their good graces? And really, I feel like this person is just trying to save themselves. We see this Libra energy here with this Justice card. I'm going to tell you this, though, Capricorn. This has everything to do. For those of you that this is a workplace situation or having to do with money, please drop the money symbol or money bag emojis in the comment section or the chat. Capricorn, this has everything to do with money. Who is this person close to you? Lover, friend? co-worker, associate, that is very focused on making money. They see your opportunities. They see an opportunity in which they're in competition with you about it. There's something going on. And if you're not careful, they'll pull you into some mess. They will try to find a weakness in what you have going on so that they can, you know, have what you have so they can compete with you. This getting to know you is not about friendship. It's not about, you know, showing love. This is about information with the air energy. Gemini, Libra over here. Information to win. All right? Let me tell you something. I feel like it may start off for some of us Capricorns having to do about looks and appearances. Physical is one thing, but also how they're being received or how you're being received to others around in the same space. But then there's a connection that takes place between you and somebody else, not this person, in which they start to realize, again, an opportunity is starting to grow, be cultivated, And they're wanting a part of it or they're wanting to know about it. And this wanting to know about it, it is it is really wanting to stop a situation. If they if they can throw a monkey wrench into your plant and notice this is our third, six, earth, fire, air, okay? They're going to indeed try to do that. Again, so, excuse me, moon, sun, light. They see your light, they see these opportunities, and they would like for it to be a missed opportunity. I almost feel the way that this person is not wanting something, almost telling you things to get you to turn a situation, turn an opportunity down. Capricorn, you need to have boundaries, you need to have limits, you need to ask for proof today. Let me know what resonated for you. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop your birthday. Like, subscribe, share this video. Find me on Instagram. Check out my other content. Check out the community tab, the playlist. Everything is semi-organized over here. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.